Hey there sexy vault dwellers, I'm Stormy Skies 369 and this video is all about Radant Lager. I always carry a few of these on me because it gives you an extra 50 carry weight which is super handy when you're overweight and need to fast travel to your camp or a vendor. You get the recipe for Radant Lager and all other alcohol recipes from Biv at Big Al's Tattoo Parlour. Go speak to him and he'll give you the tipsy taste test quest. God that's a mouthful. Okay, so to make red ant lager we need two ant meat, which is the rare ingredient, then boiled water, corn, nuclear material and wood. It really is advisable to equip your butcher's bounty perk card to double up on the ant meat you collect. That way killing one ant gives you two ant meats which is enough for one red ant lager. No place on the map guarantees you red ants so you may need to try server hopping. One place is Dolly Sods but watch out for the bear and a few things can spawn here but I tend to get lucky with the red ants. The giant teapot also spawns either ghouls or insects which include red ants and if the tea time event starts take part in that and you will definitely get a few ants. Another event that gives you ants is campfire tails. These only spawn when you collect wet kindling instead of the dry kindling. You do have to complete a few tasks before you can collect it, but if you're doing the event anyway, you might as well collect the ant meat. And the other ingredients, of course we need classic corn. In case you don't have this at your camp and you're unsure where to get it, you can go to Sylvia Homestead. You'll spawn here on the road, so head for this house and that will have four ghouls in or around it, so be aware of that. And behind the house you have a bunch of corn. There's lots of corn locations around, but I choose this one because we can also get our nuclear material that we need here. So if we go to the top of the stairs, and just on the table here, you can find the board game. And then coming down the stairs and run across the road. In this house here, there's another board game under the table too. and it's handy to collect the board water from Big Al's tattoo parlour. As you walk in you'll see another board game. Okay and if we head to the basement and you'll find some board water here and sometimes there's one here as well. Okay so scrapping the board games gives you nuclear waste and wood. So now we have all the ingredients to make our rad ant lager. So let's test the effects. My carry weight was 390 and now we have 440 and that lasts for one minute. But be aware when that minute is up you lose 50 carry weight for a minute. But that's enough time for you to get to your camp or to a vendor to unload some of that gear that you're overweight with that you don't really want to drop and lose. So it's always handy to have on you. red ant lager covered. I might do a few more alcohol ideas if there's one that you'd like to see a video on please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more. Stay safe guys. Bye!